I can't believe Todd Howard got transmuted into an Xbox. This is so messed up. It's, it's, it's just so messed up. I can't believe this. How could they do this to him? Jesus. Thanks for subscribing. Or my stream. I sure hope that Todd Howard's right hand man, the guy whose name I forgot, can turn him back. I guess we'll just have to find out. I guess we'll just have to find out. Pete Hines, yeah, that sounds right. The, the ketchup man. How's everyone going? It's Tuesday. It's 8 o'clock. All the Vikings died on their way back home, on their ship. And we're gonna play some video games. We are going to play a little bit of video games. By the way, tomorrow... Tomorrow is the day that Mario... Mario is gonna be at his highest strength. He's gonna be the most powerful he can be tomorrow. So tomorrow... It's the only day that Mario could possibly, possibly do something about his his upcoming death at the end of the month. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Anyway, video game time. Time for a whole bunch of video games here. This music is too bumpity. Let's play some video games. It should be a good time for most of us, except for me. Except for me. Alright, come on. I gotta change up how I use OBS. There's always this just lag and it actually picking up the capture. Here we go. One of these days I'll learn how to stream. One of these days. Nintendo. I don't know what that is. Here we go! It's time! It's him! He's here! It's DK! He's here and he has a banana! He's just hanging out and having a great time and I don't like how he's staring directly at me. It's kind of disturbing. It's a little bit disturbing. We're gonna play some Donkey Kong King of Swing. We're gonna try this out. See how this goes. See if this ends up being a good game to play on Tuesdays or not. Let's find out. Let's find out. All right. All right, DK. Here we go. Let's get an adventure going. One day there was a bird. The bird survived. The end. Meanwhile, at the Jungle Jam, a bunch of apes thought that a barrel full of coins was jam. Nobody knows how this happened. Nobody knows. But they're gonna hold a competition for their barrel full of coin jam. And whoever gets the most jam gets to be the, the, the jungle hero. They get to kiss the crystal coconut and sing a little song with uh, King K. Rule. It's gonna be a great time. Real good time. DK's very excited, as you can see. Now, don't know, but. What, nobody better steal my barrel full of money! <laughs> I- I sure hope... I sure hope no one steals... My barrel full of money! That would be really unfortunate if that were to happen. Oh, that would be a shame. I'll just keep them out here in the open in this barrel for safekeeping. Oh. Oh. Oh no, Dr. Eggman turned into a scaly. And he's gonna steal all of the coin jam. Oh no! How could this happen? Who could have guessed it? Oh my gosh. The jungle hero. Wait, why does he want to be the jungle hero? I'm very confused. I can't believe that Dr. Dr. Robot Croc has stolen all of the DK coins, all of the Bitcoins. He's gonna be a bajillionaire now. Oh no.
Everyone's here, including the dead person. If... So, so here's the thing. If they're dead... If, if... If they're dead... But... But they're gonna keep showing up every time anyway... Then... Then why are they... Why are they dead? Does anyone- why are- I'm very confused. I'm very confused. Sorry, don't mind me, I'm just tweaking my mic a little bit. Tweaking my mic, okay. Anyway, um, they stole all the things, and everyone's just gonna stand here and smile. It's a great time. You know, Cranky Kong seems pretty chipper. Pretty chipper for a guy whose name is Cranky... Cranky Kong. A little chipper. A little bit chipper. What's the matter? Um, did you not pay attention? Did you forget what just happened? All of the, the coin- the bitcoins are gone. I- I know what to do, I'm just- I'm just, you know... I just- I'm missing one of my hearts. Everyone knows that Donkey Kong has three hearts beating away in his enormous chest. So for him to only have two, that's bad news. It's not a good thing. Oh, oh boy. All I had to do was use L and R all along. Cranky, you're oddly out of character. Can you, um, can you stop? And stop being out of character, I'd really appreciate it. Yeah, Cranky, you're extremely out of character, and we're all worried about you. Okay. Yeah, you already told me this, Cranky. Are you okay? You okay there, buddy? Sorry, still tweaking my mic a little bit. I'm, I've noticed unusual microphone levels inside of OBS, and it's got me concerned. Okay, that should be a little better, maybe. Okay, that'll do for now, I think. Anyway, uh, Eleanor, here we go. Oh boy, I love being a big old ape. Doing it. Monkeying about. There's no monkey business here. Okay, give me one banana, please. Oh, I can use the D-pad all along? Why didn't you frickin' tell me, you big old... Yeah, looks like I got the hang of walking around. I'm pretty good at it. I'm, I'm glad I don't, I don't need a stick to do it. That would be pretty lame. Oh no, somebody put a banana slightly out of reach. I'm fucked. Press Eleanor at the same time. I think I can- I think I can manage that, Cranky. I did it. I'm the biggest jumper in the whole land. Cranky, please stop praising me. This is not what I grown to expect of you, and I wish you would cut it out a little bit, please. Thank you. A little bit. Just a little tiny bit. Please help. There's unusual orbs in, in the sky, and I'm afraid of them. Oh no. Also, there's a- there's a- there's a spirit. There's a spirit haunting us as well. Okay, teach me about the pegs. Okay, I guess those are both of the hands I have. I understand now. I see. Oh wow. Look at that dead person go. Wow. I'm all the smarter now. Alright. Uh, Cranky Kong, I did it, and I didn't use as many hands as the dead person did. Gotcha. Use both hands. I am very smart. I can count both of my hands on one finger.
Uh, I'm pretty sure the pegboards will be no problem. They look very similar to the unusual orbs, so I think we got this in the bag. All right, yeah, let me go ahead and watch the ghost real quick. Hold on, I have a few bananas to collect, and there we go. All right. Excuse me, ghost lady who won't stop leaving us alone. I need to talk to my senile old man who doesn't remember how to be cranky anymore. Oh no, where's the rest of the car? We only have one, one tire. Okay, cranker, I'm ready. I'm ready to move in mid-air. Wow, who would have thought that pressing left and right would let me move left and right in mid-air? Shocked. I'm- I'm appalled. I'm doing it. I'm moving left and right. Nobody can stop me. Nobody even knows what's happening anymore. I'm doing it! Okay, I did it. Are you proud of me? Who would have thought? You know, Cranky, maybe you could speed this up a bit. You know what? I think I know what we're doing here. We're just gonna bust this barrel real quick. Alright, Cranky. Thank you for the baby lessons. I miss when you were mean. I miss when you were a mean man. I miss it very much. I just absorbed ten bananas into my skin. I'm more powerful than you'll ever be now. Whoa. You can go bananas! Alright, let's get ready everyone, we're gonna go bananas in a second here, but first I have to collect them all. Oh boy. All the bananas a man could want. How do these pegs get in the air? Ready? BANANAS! I'm doing it. Ooh, oh, help! Help! The, the bananas isn't working! I, I'm unsuccessfully going bananas! Okay, much better. Alright, I've successfully gone as bananas as I possibly can. I think we're in much better shape now. Yeah, it looks like we're doing a lot better. Get up there. Frickin' big ol' weight. Nailed it! Um, almost nailed it. Nailed it! One of these days I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna nail it! Anytime now! I get it. Oh, I should probably talk to this man. Frankie, what could you have possibly forgot? You've been training me for like 15 minutes on how to how to be a monkey. Yes, I know. Crystal coconuts, just like in the, in the TV show. All right, Cranky, don't talk to me again until you remember how to be how to be excessively cruel and judgmental to me. Okay? Promise me. All right, let's go to the banana bungalow. It's time to actually play the video game. All right, what we got here? We got some pegs, we got some bananas. What more could you want? What more could you possibly need? Just a whole bunch of bananas. It's the exact amount of bananas that any any Kong would want in their life. So we're, we're, so this is how the game works. You grab onto the pegs and you spin around, and you're also Donkey Kong at the same time, which is the most confusing part because not many people know how to be Donkey Kong. It's not an easy job to have. You have to wear a tie. You have to have big muscles, you have to be a monkey. It's just not the easiest thing in the world to deal with. And a lot of people have trouble doing it. But I think we can manage it. I have enough gaming experience, so I don't think having to be Donkey Kong will be too much of an issue for me. No, no, not that I can think of, at least. I think it should be relatively okay. Anyway, as we go higher and higher, the air is going to become thinner and thinner. And Donkey Kong will soon asphyxiate, so we have to be very careful not to get to that point, otherwise he'll be in big trouble. Don't want him to be in big trouble, he's just a Donkey Kong, and he's killing all these dragonflies who stole the crystal coconuts. I got it. I can't believe I have it. So do you think the creators of this game were inspired to put crystal coconuts in this game because of Donkey Kong 64? Or was it directly because of the cartoon show? Because I have a hunch. I have a hunch. It might be one or the other. I feel like I'm missing something. There's... Hmm.
Or so is there supposed to be a DK coin here? All I got was a... Hold on a second. Didn't King K. Roll throw a bunch of, of DK coins in here? I'm very confused now. I feel like I'm missing something very important. I feel like I'm... It's... How could you play a DK game without collecting the DK coin? Yo. Yo. You can't fool me. Where's this DK coin? Oop, hold on. There's none up here. I could have sworn I saw King K. Roll drop a DK coin all up in here. So now I'm concerned. I'm deeply worried that we may never see this DK coin ever again. I thought I was... I was the perfect candidate to play the Donkey Kong game, but if I can't get the DK coin, what good am I? What freaking good am I? I'm having DK doubt. I'm having DK doubt! Where is the coin? Help me! I need to damage this dragonfly real quick. Okay, I feel a little better about myself now that I've done harm to that creature. Where's the DK coin? Where is it? I don't see it! There's just an exit! DK Doubt! DK Doubt! Did I miss it? Is, is there something here I didn't see? Should I just walk walk away? Oh no. I I am very confused right now. I thought each stage had a DK coin. Am I wrong? Am I dumb? Am I incredibly stupid? Donkey Kong, don't celebrate. This is not a time for celebration. This is a time for mass confusion. Okay, let me go to another stage and see what I see, because suddenly, my whole world has been thrown in a loop, and I don't know what to do no more. First, let's take care of this man. I get it. He'll regret every, every choice he's ever made in life that led him to this point. I'm pretty sure- I'm pretty sure dragonflies can feel things like doubt and remorse. Pretty sure. I hope so, I don't want to be the only one feeling it. Oh, excuse me, I touched that banana with my donkey fingers and I would appreciate collecting it. Thank you very much. Hmm. No sign of a DK coin yet, I am very concerned. I am very worried. If I don't see a DK coin soon, I'm going to have an anxiety attack live on Twitch.com, and it's going to get like... It's going to get like 30,000 views on the clip. And everyone is going to start knowing me as the anxiety gamer, and I'm going to have a global Twitch emote of me having my anxiety attack. And it'll be great. Oh, fuck! There's too many bananas! Help me! Give me these- give me these nanners! I need all of them! I think I need all of them. I hope I need all of them, otherwise I'm wasting my valuable time here. We wouldn't want that, would we? Would we? Alright, Crystal Coconut has been had. Now we're on the- we're on the lookout for a DK coin because... Because of my DK coin anxiety, I- I need to know about this coin. I need to know what the details are about the DK coin. Hmm, barrels, I see. If I was a barrel, I may hold a DK coin in me. Just saying, it's a possibility. I'm not saying all barrels have DK coins in them, that would be... That would be very prejudiced against barrels, I'm just saying, it's possible. It is very possible for one barrel to contain one DK coin, that's all I'm implying right here. It's it. It's it. And... It's taking me 20 months to get to this point of thinking, but I'm finally there, and I'm very proud of myself for it. It was a hard road, but I'm finally not prejudiced against barrels anymore. Oh, oh, DK, you're going the wrong way. I just spat on my screen, there's a big old shiny spit mark. There we go. Took care of it. The spit has been taken care of. The spit has been resolved. What the fuck? A DK coin! So where was the DK coin in the other stage? Oh no. Oh no. Please help, the anxiety is about to happen. Look at that, there's a DK coin next to the left and a crystal coconut to the right. What about banana bungalow? 
Oh no! Oh shit! The anxiety attack is coming! Please help! Oh, okay. Let's just take this- take this slow. We're gonna go through this stage one more time. We're gonna get every single banana. Because as long as we get every single banana, then we know we covered the whole stage. Which means if there's a- if there's a secret coin and we're not seeing it, then, uh, we have an excuse. We'll have an excuse. It'll be fine. I don't have to worry. Where the fuck is the DK coin? I need this DK coin. Personally, I've, I'm of the opinion that more games need DK coins, including games that don't have anything to do with Donkey Kong. If Nintendo tries to sue them, they can just tell them that the DK stands for something else, like... Dense... Uh... What words start with K that aren't Kong? I can't think of any K words that aren't Kong. Oh no. Oh no. This is DK. This is because DK coin withdrawal is doing this to my brain. If I had the DK coin in this stage, I could think of like a million words. A million words to start with K. Instead, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. I'm just blanking out. This is the exact opposite of what I want to happen when I think of the letter K. I'm gonna have to- I'm gonna have to binge watch like 400 episodes of Sesame Street until I- until they start talking about the letter K and then I'll- And then maybe I'll have a chance of remembering a word. Until- I'm pretty sure no words in the English language start with the letter K. I'm just putting that out there right now. I can't think of a single one. And I'm pretty sure I'm right, so we'll just go with that for now. We'll just go with that. Guys, there's nothing here. There's- there's no DK coin. What the fuck? There's nothing here! Am I being bamboozled? Is there no DK coin here? Do they just not put a DK coin in the first stage to... To give me all sorts of mental anxiety because that's all it's doing. That's all it's doing right now. Like at least the Lost Vikings made me angry. King of Swing is 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 making me like have a panic attack. I think I preferred being angry to be perfectly honest. Oh boy. Okay, let's take our anger. Anger, not anger. Let's take our anxiety out on a few Kremlins. Maybe it'll help us think. It'll help us get back back in one piece. It'll make our brain work a little better and we won't have any more DK coin withdrawal or anxiety or whatever this is I'm experiencing. Okay. Just some monkey tech right here. Let's give it a yank. There we go. Just yanking on that monkey tech. I'm pretty sure it's monkey tech. I'm pretty sure that King K. Rool stole his Dr. Robotnik Eggmobile from Donkey Kong. And it's all monkey tech that he's stolen for his own good. Pretty sure. I don't know how else he would have invented that, because let's be honest. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy who would invent Dr. Robotnik contraptions. I mean, in Donkey Kong Country 3, he was kind of pretending to be like a mad scientist, but... I don't think many people recognize Donkey Kong Country 3 as a valid... ...thing... ...that exists. Oh, going bananas a little bit. Here we go. Go on, DK. Good job, DK. Alright, get in that big old B-barrel. Doing it. Oh fuck, we have to go bananas again. Okay. Oh. oh shit, I do have to get all of them. This is bad news. I thought maybe I just had to make it to the top. You know, sometimes in the bonus stages in Donkey Kong, it would be like get the coin. Instead of get the bananas, but this time it was get the get the bananas, and now I'm gonna run out of time and this game is giving me anxiety! Go! Go, Kong, go!
Oh no. This is bad. Uh, I picked this game because I figured it would be kind of puzzly, and it may give me some of the, the, the Lost Vikings kind of feelings I was having. Uh, you know, earlier, but in instead it's just making me nervous. It's just making me nervous as shit. DK, no, that's the wrong way. I need you to use your monkey brain and spin in the other direction. There we go. Okay. What was over here? I saw another crank, and I, and I didn't give it the attention it deserves. Bananas. We almost ignored bananas. We should never ignore bananas. Ever. Bananas are very important. Alright, there we go. Doing some spins. By the way, I just want to point out this game runs at 60 frames per second on the Game Boy Advance. I'm streaming at 30, so things might look a little screwy for you. It looks perfectly good for me, and I'm keeping all the perfect good 60 frames per second goodness to myself, and you can't have any. You can't have any. I refuse to share. I think I earned these 60 frames per second. What did you do for 60 frames per second? Name one thing you've done for 60 frames per second. This stage also has a DK coin. What happened to the first stage? Oh, no. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna... I'm gonna be up all night. I'm gonna be up all night tonight thinking about the DK coin and Banana Bungalow. And I'm also gonna be up all night because my upstairs neighbors are dickhead pieces of shit. Don't fucking raise their children to not jump and stomp into the late hours of the night and they don't give them a bedtime. Okay, let's spin this thing right here. Good job, everyone. Hmm. Rats. Oop! Just timed my slam there. There we go! Oh yeah! Get over here, you rat piece of junk. Alright! Feeling a little better, except about the DK coins, but we're gonna try to ignore that for now, because otherwise I'm gonna lose my mind. Get over here, you dragonfly fuck. Got him! Alright, oh, hold on. Oh, get back up there, DK. There we go. Okay, what do we got here? Also, who painted these- who painted this- these Kremlings on the wall back here? I'm pretty sure Kremlings didn't exist in the Egyptian times. I'm pretty sure Kremlings are not an Egyptian thing, and that this is vandalism done by Captain King K. Rule himself. And I think he should be held accountable for it. And Donkey Kong's gonna fall down forever now. Great. Good job, everyone. Oh, oh good, it comes back down. I thought that was it. I thought that was it. Alright. Back on track. Get on up there, you clown. Oh, I don't trust these dragonflies. Okay, I was worried they were gonna cross my path. And that's the last thing I want. That's the last thing a man could want. There we go. And we get to bounce on a, on a tire. What more co- Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Okay. That could have gone a lot smoother. Is this game any good? I like it. I like this game. I think it's very underrated. In my opinion. But I fully admit that if you try to 100% it, it can get very frustratingly difficult later on. So if you do a casual playthrough where you're not 100%ing it, I think it can be pretty fun. But if, you, if you're going to 100% it, just keep in mind it's going to get frustrating later. That's my opinion on this video game. I hope you like it. Please write it down. Please open an old Game Informer that you were... Forced, that was forced upon you for free by GameStop employees. 
and write down my opinion on this game. Write it down in the middle of the Game Informer. Just write it down with a, with a permanent marker. Um... It, it is nice... It is nice, Wormer Stream, to, ha to play a game that isn't made by... by a Blizzard a in their amateur days when they didn't know how to make a Viking man walk from the left to the right. It's not bad. Alright. Silver medal, I did it. Crystal coconut, I did it. Every day I'm gonna think about the banana bungalow. Every single day. Oh, I cleared the rest of it. Let's check out this, um, absurd frog contraption. What is this? Hi, I'm Donkey Kong. Oh. Oh. Please don't look at Donkey Kong. He's very shy around robotic Egyptian creatures. DK, that was very rude, and I think you should apologize to this robotic Egyptian man. I think he's not, I think he's gonna refuse to apologize. DK, it's, it's very, very messed up of you. DK, you don't even know if this guy was gonna harm you. I mean, granted, there's some very threatening music playing, but you don't even know if it's his music. It could be someone else's, someone else hanging out nearby. Could just be listening to their jams, and you're taking it out on this man. Oh no! DK, you just de-eyeballed that man. How do you feel? I've collected a bronze, silver, and gold. I've collected a bronze medal, a silver medal, and a gold medal. Bronze... Bro There's two bronzes here. Silver... I'm still not sure what happened with Banana Bungalow. I'm still not sure. Still not sure. Oh, hey, yeah, Biscotti Pippin. I I almost forgot that I played that game. Forgot I played Shadows of the Empire. You know, the thing about Shadows of the Empire is most people played that on the N64. But to be honest, on the N64, it kind of sucks. Like, the controls are a pain, and the frame rate is trash. Honestly, the best way to play Shadows of the Empire is on PC, with something that resembles very shoddy... ...mouse controls. It's actually an okay game for its time, as long as you play it with mouse on a PC. I'm not gonna say it's it's amazing. I mean, it's important for inspiring, um, you know, the Rogue Squadron series with its first level. That's one of the most important things about it. Yeah, that's honestly the most important thing about its legacy is that it inspired Rogue Squadron. But I think it's worth playing, even if you're not a big Star Wars fan. It's worth playing the PC version. working with here. We're throwing rocks at birds. I'm living living a little fantasy of mine. I hate birds. They always poop on my car, and I can't do anything about it. Like, what am I gonna do? What, what, what am I gonna do? Make the bird come back and clean my car? No. There's nothing I can do about it. The bird can do whatever the fuck it wants without any consequences. Fuck birds. Beings, beings of no consequence. Fuck them. They'll get what's coming to them. Alright. Who broke all these pegs? That an asshole breaks another man's peg. Rude. Oh. Aw, oh, crumbs. I wanted to stand on top of there. And there was nothing up there. We're fine. Meantime, let's bust this barrel open. Okay. I see. 
Is there anything down here? Hold on. There is, but I... I just killed Donkey Kong forever. Oh, no. Donkey Kong's shriek of death will haunt my nightmares tonight. I'm gonna need counseling after having to hear that. Okay, before we get down there to see what was going on with that secret Neki, let's take care of some of this upper area. Just to see what's up here, just in case there's something important that we may or may not miss. You never know. Get up there, DK. Alright, let's bust this barrel right open. A single banana. What more could a monkey want? Aha! So there was a safe way down here that didn't involve tossing DK to his death. Ooh, DK coin. But how do I... Oh, I know how to get it. Okay, hold on. Big brain time. Big brain time. Get ready, here comes the big brain play! Get ready, here it comes! What just happened? Did the pegs evaporate? The pegs evaporate. Oh no. Oh shit. Okay, plan number two. Throw rocks at it! Shit! Oh! Oh, of course, you know, DK's staple power-up, the rocket barrel, where you can rocket freely around the stage with no consequences. Why did- how could I have forgotten such a- such an important piece of Donkey Kong- <laughs> of Donkey Kong uh, gameplay? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Of course, how could I have forgotten that this staple of the Donkey Kong franchise doesn't allow you to bust barrels? Let's try this again. Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. Check out this. Okay, we're about to do another big brain move here. Oh, you see that? Wait, now I'm stuck. Oh, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. Got it! Oh, yeah. And y'all thought I wouldn't figure it out. Y'all thought I couldn't use my big brain powers to get that crystal coconut. Always bet on rock cock. That was a well-deserved clap, DK. Alright, let's check out the cactus woods. I don't think that's how cactuses work, though. Alright, what we got here? Yeah, you know, I don't think cactuses work like this in real life, but I'm not gonna question how they work in the DK-verse. I'm not gonna question it. I'm just gonna wait for the... the DK-verse cinematic movie to come out on HBO. And I'm gonna whine about it on Twitter all day, when my ridiculous fan theories are not proven correct during the series finale. I will rhyme, I will rhyme and whine and scream about it on Twitter all day, when they don't reveal that Donkey Kong is his own son in the finale. Like I have theorized about since I saw the first five seconds of the show. Now, don't ask me how I came to that conclusion during the first five seconds of the show. But just trust me that they owed it to me, and... their failure to give me the resolution that I wanted, and predicted, is... basically the same thing as murder. They murdered me. Get it, get it, get it! It counts! Oh, okay, we're good. Careful. Jump over the thing. I did it. I'm nailing it. 
All right. Aw, oh, crumbs. Who put all these bees here? I don't want nothing to do with bees. What's DK supposed to do about bees other than die? Oh, never mind. Remember the bees who you absolutely can't kill in any Donkey Kong Country game with your bare hands? Yeah, you can just kill them now. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about that whole, you know, important gameplay mechanic where bees can't be harmed by DK's bare hands. Not important. Nice! Alright, give me that coin. I will have one coin, please. Thank you. Alright. Give me one bunch of bananas, and then we'll try to take care of this bee in a second here. Might as well. Now that we've been given dominion over bees, there is no being that can stop Donkey Kong. None. The Kongs will destroy all. The Kongs will run wild. It's gonna be a nightmare. gonna be a nightmare. The tyranny of the Kongs will never end. The bees were our last hope. Alright. Oh. Oh, okay. Alright, let me hit it. A single banana. A great use for one barrel. Oh god, I don't like them. Please, no. Oh, uh, no, go away! I don't like their pincers. Their pincers make me nervous. Much better. Alright, crisis averted. It turns out you just had to damage their soft underbellies. It's a good strategy in general, whenever you have an opponent. Just focus on their soft underbelly. What are they gonna do about it? It's their soft underbelly. They can't do shit about it. They can't do a dang old thing! It's the perfect weak spot! The perfect one! Always bet on soft underbelly. Always! DK, you have- you have conquered the cactuses. Alright. Uh-oh. It's mine time. But I'm pretty sure this game won't have a minecart that you can ride, because how the hell would they even do that? It doesn't make any sense. Alright. This is kind of like a minecart, except not... Hmm. Getting an urge to murder these bats. Let's see if I can pull something off here. Oh! Okay, that was not what I was trying to pull off, but... It does give me an opportunity to take care of one bat. All right. There we go. Now, DK's murderous urges have not been satiated. You'd think this guy would be a chimp or something with how badly he wants to rip the faces off of his enemies, but nope. Just a big old gorilla. Big old gorilla. Alright, I'm gonna get that bat if it fucks me up. Oop, missed it. There we go! Come, DK. Alright, we'll do it from up here. It'll work, don't worry about it! Well, don't I have egg on my face now? You know what? I'm not gonna let that bat get away with it. That bat is- is taunting me. He's teasing me. He thinks that I'm gonna give up on him just because he's making it hard for me. But you know what? No. I'm not. I'm not even gonna give up on him a little bit. This bat is fucked. That's what you get for wasting my time, bat! get to be metamorphized into a banana, which I'm pretty sure what happens when Donkey Kong collides with his enemies. Pretty sure that's how that works. Almost sure. 
All right, there we go. Let's take care of this guy real quick. Nice. And get on cranking. I'm trying to remember. Oh, no, I remember now. I played through both this and the DS version. Like, in a row. I want to say... When did I do that? I don't think it was last... Was it really two years ago? Jesus. I don't know, but either way, I played through them recently, and... I really... I kind of wish that, you know, more games would kind of rip off this concept. Some indie games or something, because it, it, it's pretty fun. Honestly, it's pretty fun. Like, you know, you control each hand with one button. And you just rotate around pegs. It's a super simple concept. But when you throw in all these, you know, gimmicks and gadgets in the level, you can make some really interesting puzzles and stuff. And I just feel like it's a concept that deserves to be... It deserves to be followed up on. It deserves to be expanded upon and to not just be this one-off thing that had two obscure Donkey Kong games that no one ever talks about. And it's, and it's super simple, like, the basis of this is all so simple. To actually make a game, to actually make a game engine like this, it'd be easy as hell. Like, you could easily get a prototype of this done in a day, you know? Does Nintendo have a patent? I have no idea. I've never looked it up. I don't even know, what, what would you search for? <laughs> Concept for monkey two-hand simulation grip grabber. Don't even know what you would search for. Also, I'm not sure what happened to the, you know, the developers who made this game. I'm, I have a hunch that they probably went out of business. Have a hunch, little hunch. Little hunch. Hold on, get realigned here. Give me that. All right, where's this crystal coconut? I'm, I'm jonesing for some coconut. Shit, speaking of coconut, I've not had anything coconut in a long time. You know, I always see people bitching about Almond Joy and Mounds. But... I love both of those candies, and honestly, like... Whenever I see people complain that they don't like them, I'm... I'm... I always get the impression that they're just enormous fucking babies about their taste. You know? Like, like, the kind of people who can't even drink coffee without putting, like, half a cup of sugar into it. You know, just people who... The, the kind of people who complain about crust on their sandwiches. Or who don't like the texture of mushrooms. Like, that's the kind of person... I imagine doesn't like all who doesn't like almond joy. That's just the impression I get from him. Okay, let's take care of this terrible twister. Uh oh. Oh no. We're gonna see Sonic the Hedgehog fly by in this tornado. Loudly blasting. Sonic 3D Blast music in our ear. It's gonna be very unfortunate. Ooh, careful! Oh, cart. Oh, cart, come on. 
Oh, you stay away from me, you Kremlin piece of crumb. Gotcha. All right, let me at. Oh, wait, no, no, DK, no! Oh, okay, he's fine, folks. No need to worry. DK is all right. He's doing good. Yeah, oh no! Did DK come back here? Help! Okay, we're good. DK will be good. He he he's dealt with worse. Get that crystal coconut. Oh, we're good. We're fine. No worries. All right. What am I gonna do about this big ass barrel? Oh, oh! It's one of those barrels. Well. Color me surprised. All right. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh. Oh. It, it's it's it, it's it's the pukerizer ride that you go get on at the carnival after you've eaten an entire cotton candy and you really f and and you and you just get pink goop all over yourself. Spin, DK! Spin faster! What did bananas accomplish here? You can use them to restore your health and... Oh, damn it, DK. And to go bananas. Uh, uh, DK, please. There we go. All right, just gotta time this right, so we're facing the right direction, and there we go. Oh, come on, DK. There we go. That's what I like to see. Oh, just wanna get, wanna get to the outer edge there. All right, spin me. I would like a banana. No, 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 the banana. There we go. Oh, yeah. Ooh, 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 okay. All right, that was some good, good grabbing you did there, DK. All right. Oh, I thought I thought I could reach the DK coin with DK's tootsies, but it didn't quite work out. Nailed it. All right, cleared this stage. Let's get out of here. No. It's goddamn Moltres. And we don't even have a, any great balls. Okay, that man's on fire. Oh no. Oh, okay, it turns out smashing your head into a burning bird is a bad idea. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? It turns out spinning rocks at your enemies for them to use as ammunition is a bad idea. Who would have thunk it? Oh, uh oh. Oh no. Please stop. Okay. This is why I collected all those bananas. This is the banana reason. This is why we got dizzy and puked in that twister earlier. So we would be safe against a bird that's not too much on fire. All right. There we go. What more could you ask for? Oh no. I'm willing to bet none of these water stages are going to have a remix of that one water stage theme. I'm willing to bet. Yeah, if one of them was going to have it, it probably would have been this one. So I don't think we're going to be... I don't think we're going to enjoy aquatic ambience. Oh well. Right. Now, this is some oddly spherical seaweed. Okay, and I'm... I'm probably imagining this, but... 
Oops. <laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> Not what I was trying to do! Uh. <clears throat> oh god, let's get back up there. Oh, careful. Okay, so I'm probably imagining this, but that fish up there... Something seems off to me about how it its face looks. Like, it almost looks like it was pre-rendered and traced over. And, like, in my brain, and I don't have a reference to compare it to, but I almost want to say it looks like they traced over a Donkey Kong Country 3 sprite and made it- tried to make it look cartoony. And I would love to look through the Donkey Kong Country 3 sprites to find one that looks ex exactly like it, but I'm busy streaming this game right now, so, uh... I can't do that. <laughs> but it just, to me, it really looks like they traced over a Donkey Kong Country 3 sprite or something. Oh, damn it, the teeth. In fact, hold on a second. I may be streaming right now, but I also have a computer in front of me. Let, let me check something super quick. Super ultra quick. Let's see. I mean, we might as well. Let's see. Super Nintendo. The. Donkey. No, not Doraemon. Donkey Kong Country 3. Where's the enemies? Those are bears. Aquatic enemies. Hmm. Now, the one I'm seeing here looks different. Maybe it's a Donkey Kong Country 2 sprite? But I don't think there was an enemy like this in Donkey Kong Country 2. Aquatic e Oh. Okay, so he looks very similar to the Lockjaw and Snapjaw enemies from Donkey Kong Country 2. But just eyeballing it, I don't think it's a trace. Like, I don't think they directly traced over it. It's definitely inspired by it, but it's not a trace. How disappointing. Oops. There we go! Taught him a lesson. Alright, let's take care of his little, little buddy up here. If he's still alive. He is still alive. Good news. Good news, everyone. He's still alive. Good news, everyone. He's dead. Get me in that bonus barrel. I want my business up in that barrel. Oh gosh, okay. Like, all the gravity here, in this underwater stage, it's, it's, as you would expect, it's like low gravity, so it's a little funky to get used to after all the stages we just played. A little bit, oh god, okay, great, good, neat, okay. And the barrel's gone. Barrel's gone. Oh boy. Oh boy. I have a feeling that as the game progresses, we're gonna be running into this sort of thing a lot. Where I fuck up the bonus stage and restart the whole stage, so, um... Look forward to that. Look forward to it. Look forward to it with both of your eyes. Alright, let's get back into that bonus stage and try it again. Oh boy. Alright, come on! Oh, come on, DK, grab it! Okay, good. Come on! Jeez. 
If it wasn't for the timer, I wouldn't even be nervous. I'd just take my time, do some spins, and have a great time, but no- NO! NO! PLEASE! I just wasted bananas and panic! Oh, man. Okay, come on. All right. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, that nice lunge there. Idiot. On the bright side, we're, we're we got a whole bunch of bananas. What more could you ask for? No, I haven't straight up eaten a banana in forever. I should just go to the grocery store, buy a whole bunch, find a real brown bunch of bananas, and just go to town on that thing. Alright, come on! Oh, damn it. And grab. Okay, come on! Shit, I don't think that's not gonna be far enough. I have to actually angle this. There we go. Gotta angle it a little bit, and we'll be fine. Just keep the angle straight! Come on, get that DK! I swear to fucking hell! That wasn't the right option, I meant to return the map. Okay. There's something about that one jump. That 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 one gap that's throwing us off. It's effing us up. It's effing us up just a little bit. Okay. Good job, DK. Like you couldn't have stuck your tongue out so you would reach the barrel? If you stuck your tongue out, you'd reach the barrel. Just saying. Come on! Not gonna risk it, we're going bananas! Nailed it! Oh yeah! On these starfish who spin around. Do I have to see them? Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, I was worried that one got away from me. Alright, what's behind barrel number one? It was a whole bunch of bananas. Who could have guessed? Who would have even thought such a thing would be possible? All right. Ooh. Get over it. Nope. No. Nope. Oh. Okay. That. That's great. I completely effed up the timing and direction on that guy. There we go. No one shall escape DK's banana fueled rage. His potassium piss off. There we go. You 
Thought you could survive? Think again, DK's here. Like, I'm pretty sure these starfish aren't even associated with K. Rule. They're not reptiles. They're just here living in their their natural habitat, and DK's just going ape shit up in here and ruining everything, destroying the entire ecosystem. It's pretty messed up. Pretty messed up. Alright, starfish, get over here. You're the last of your kind. Oh, these... Grr. This guy making me so angry. Had to go bananas real quick, just, just for insurance, because that man was about to bite me. And I don't appreciate being bitten. I think it's lame. I think it stinks. There we go. Nice! Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Just a little bit of busting. Just doing a little bit of busting. Get me up there. Holy shit. Oh, this tire just ruined all my fun. But let me tell you who will not ruin my fun, this fish! Never again will a fish ruin my fun. I refuse to allow it to happen. Alright, where's this taking me? Oh, what do we got here? Oh, that's just bananas. Hey, what I wanted! I wanted cool stuff! Oh well. Probably shouldn't concern myself too much with murdering every single fish here, but... I want to murder every single fish here, so... That's what we're doing. Oh! There we go! I have to go bananas a little bit to for safety. All right, what we're we looking at here? What are we looking at? Where's this DK coin? I need it. Is it here? I'll take it if it is. Got it. Alright, let's get out of here. Wait, that's downwards. I want to go not downwards. Oh, there we go. How does Monkey breathe underwater? We'll never know. The reason he can breathe underwater is he doesn't know he's not supposed to breathe underwater. Right. What? No, I wasn't trying to... Oh, there we go. All right! I'd say that for a first stream, 30% is pretty good! Wow! I don't remember this game being this short. Um, although watch the later stages end up being real hard, and this is gonna end up being dragged out to Lost Vikings length. Anyway! It's been an hour, that's how long I stream for my little Tuesday mini-streams. Thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. Tune in next week at Tuesday, around the same time when we play more Donkey Kong King of Swing. And this weekend, tune in Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern when we play some more Mario 3 e-reader e -reader stages and some Morrowind. Alright, I'm gonna go sweat in my favorite hoodie. Mario.